Hi, my name is Bryce, and in this video, we are going to compute the A equals LU factorization of the of of this this given three by four matrix using the Summers computer aided mathematics program. So, when, so when 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 we want to compute the LU factor factorization, and we 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 need we need to use we need to use we we need to row we'll, we'll reduce the the matrix. We need to we need to row we'll, we'll reduce the ma the matrix down into into row echelon form. So, at, but we also we also have to have to remember remember the steps that we did. So the so for here the first thing we're going to do is we want this two to go to a zero. Because we want this staircase shape. So we, we want mute, mute, we want mutate row one. So we click on row one, and then we want to subtract subtract two times row zero. Notice it automatically knows we mean multiplication here. Once we're done, we press evaluate, and then we have to write a comment of what we did. So row one went to row one minus two times row zero. Now we'd like now we'd now we'd like to we'd like to reduce this two. So so to, to get rid of this two two we need to add two thirds times row one to row two. So we click on row two, which is the one we'd like to mutate, and we'd like to add two thirds times row one. Once we're done we click on evaluate. See, see that the zero, the zero is now popped up because of our impeccable logic. So row two goes to row two plus two thirds times row one. Notice I use this slash frac, slash frac, which which will format the two and the, th the three as a as a fraction. Might actually be better to get get rid of this so make it look nicer. So now, so now we now we're done. We're now, so now we've reduced this ma this matrix into into upper triangular form. We can we can further reduce 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 this to to compute 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 the di a diagonal diagonal matrix by. By dividing each 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 one of these row, rows by the for, by the pivot element to make them go to one, so row one, and divide it by negative three, evaluate, and we've stored it there already. Row two, we're going to divide it by one third and evaluate. So now so now so now we've got now we've computed the upper triangular matrix. And and we've also computed the diagonal matrix. So let's 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 put that in right now. Let's see. So we want three by we want three by three one one one. Well, it's not really one one one, but so we want we want we want to look at look at which scalars we multiply it by. Well, we multiply it by negative three three and one over three. So we go here. And we go neg negative three, negative three, and one over three. There. Now we evaluate. Oops. <laughs> that that was that was kind of silly. I'm gonna branch where I made a mistake. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Type type this one back in. So now we've computed D. Mm -hmm. So now we now we need to we need to compute, compute the lower triangular matrix. So first we put ones on the diagonal. Now we have to fill fill in fill in these with the 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 these parts in the ma the matrix with number numbers that represent that represent composed elementary matrices. To do that we go up here and we look at each operation. To read, to read, to read, to interpret each of these operations, first we look at the first number. So, 
row 1 goes to the first number, which is row, row 1, minus the number that should go in the box, times the second, times row 0, row, row 0. So we so we so we know that we know that this mean this means means that row one zero one and then column zero so column zero so row one column zero that's right here this should go to two which it, it's basically we want we want we want we want to add what whatever the negation of this scalar term is so here we're subtracting two so we want to put positive two here. If we were adding two, we'd want to put negative two here. So we go here. And we type in two. So now, now we go into the next one. This next row combination, row two, zero, one, two. And then, and then, and then row one, which means column one, column zero, one. So this element, we need to we need to subtract two thirds because we added two thirds. Since we add two thirds, we need to put negative two thirds here. There we go. Now we look, and it doesn't that we we don't have any other row combinations. So we're done. We've computed L. So we click on evaluate. So now we've computed L D L D and U inside the L inside L D U factorization, which it which is a glorified L U factorization with this ad, with this add diagonal matrix. So L here we have it. It's a lower triangular matrix D, which is a diagonal matrix, and U, which is an upper triangular matrix. See these three zeros down here. To check to, to check to make sure to make sure that we did it properly, we want to multiply L times D times U. So L D times U. And notice the program automatically knows we mean to multiply. Once once we're done, we press evaluate. And the result A equals L D U. Notice this matrix is the same as the matrix we start with. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Two, one, two, zero. Uh, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one. Zero, two, three, two. 0, 2, 3, 2. So we've successfully computed, computed a lower triangular matrix times a diagonal matrix times an upper triangular matrix that equaled the original, ma the, the original matrix A. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.